M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're learning this program here on my Android tablet called FT8CN. Put that into Google, you'll be able to download it. And we've connected it at the moment via the micro USB straight into my Android tablet with an adapter, OTG adapter. And we've got it TXing, look. So we're receiving FT8 here, and you can see here there's even these, uh, these scrolls with people's call signs on, which is pretty cool. Now, we still haven't got it really transmitting and that's something that someone can receive because if you look at my SWR and my tuner I'm using, no power is being received when it goes into TX. Right, we're in TX and if you look here, nothing at all, okay? And we'll look at the meters on the radio as well. There you go nothing and when the power is turned on so obviously we've got more settings to do i'm still in the learning process of this if it was working it would go down through this cycle through here and i'll show you my settings at the moment and the interesting thing is that even when it's transmitting you can see what it's doing in settings so we're in settings and at the top here we've got our call sign which is now being covered our grid square i haven't changed audio frequency the, the frequency is selected automatically if you tap here. Oh, look at that, there's an update. Let's, uh, let's tap that, see if that does it. Just out of interest, because I haven't actually done that. Oh, the latest version. There's the latest version there. So uh, I'll we'll click download, just so you know, that, so at least you've seen where to do it, open. It's pretty good, isn't it, install. And it's all still working as I do it. open look how good that and that's how it should be for updating when I mean, it was the you get a, when there's a usb cable plugged in you get that it does prompt you to select a serial port so i've just selected the top one at the moment and then it says rig control connected okay we're still in tx at the moment i've got it on a low power it's usb d which it selected i'm just gonna just because i'm worried i'm gonna turn it off and then turn it back on. Look, when I turn it off, it, at the, it actually tells you. Turn it back on, and then it'll prompt. It, you've got all these other app, icon apps I could use at the moment because I'm connected. Let's go wait for it to receive. Receiving now. And I know it's quite hard to see. I'll just get closer to this tablet and I don't forget you can do this on your Android phone but if I tap these three lines here these this is a list of frequencies that we're seeing here if we tap one and go to the radio let's go back from here you see that the radio changes frequency tap again tap go back to 40 And you see it change. So you've got rig control. What we haven't really got is proper TX. So let's go back to my settings. Now someone else might have better luck with this because I can actually pair this, and I'll probably do it in a minute on a separate video, pair it with my Bluetooth, take the cable off, and then keep trying. But our problem is making sure that we're transmitting FT8. So you see my settings. That's the decode button here, where you get the waterfall. You've got a big spectrum there as well. And if I unplug the USB, that will vanish. So it is working that way. QSO logs. Not used it. It says pre presenter a call sign. Shall I just do it? M0. I'm guessing it saves people you had contacts with and then while well, you've got these different tabs here show all that's frequency again isn't it oh look at that what's that qso logs completed zero <laughs> 12 incomplete oh i've been trying so anyway, back to the decode, and then we've got a map on the right here. If we tap it there, 
It's just like a little map emblem. Now, see the way it did show all the... And you can zoom in. So we've got some activity here. We get nice and close. Like so. I did get closer than that earlier. Go back out. Oh, look, see that? There was one, wasn't there? If we hold our finger on a station, it's, does that say DTC? What does that mean? A click call. When you go to call, it starts to TX, and you can see what it's TXing here. The problem I'm getting is that I'm, there's no power coming out the radio. But I can see. Now it's, let's just get a full scope. So you'll see it in TX, and normally when it's in TX, I will see something here. But it's, it's just freezing, isn't it? So I don't think it's set up correctly yet, but I thought I'd show it you. Well, you can stop it TXing by pressing this. I'll stop it TXing. If Mazzy wants to go out. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. We'll keep trying, and I've, I've tested this. It, it works on really any radio, because you have a Vox capability. I'll just show you that. If you go settings, select Vox, it will actually receive without the cable. I'll disconnect the cable. There, look, no cable. We've still got it on the right frequency. We can't control the radio, but there's no way of controlling the radio without a cable. We'll do the Bluetooth in a minute. We can still tell it to TX, and what I've found, I don't know if it'll do it this time, it, you'll hear it coming out the laptop. What well, I keep calling it a laptop, tablet. I didn't do it that time. But it, I've, in the past, it's done it, it's, you can hear it, and then what you're supposed to effectively, you can just put the radio into TX. I mean, it's great fun for free, isn't it? So you see it's gone red there. Effectively, that's TXing. It's gone red up here. Settings. Vox. Let me know how you get on, we're learning this one. Bye for now, 7-3.